Hey everybody, we're back again. This time we're looking at the Hammerhead. Aegis Dynamics Hammerhead. We're gonna go around taking a look at it. Uh, this is my buddy's ship, uh, Captain uh, Mr. V. This right here, we have a turret. It's first turret. It's one of uh, many on the corners. There are six total turrets. One on each corner, and then one on the tail, and one on top, in the middle. Here's the other side. Everything's pretty much mirrored for the most part, except for a couple things. We'll get to those. This is the docking port. Uh, the middle door there that leads down to the bridge, but we'll get to that. We're going to cover this first floor first. Nice little window into the abyss of nothing. It should be a, uh, a room of some sort. It should be a med bay or an armory or both. But it's not. They decide to go ahead and, you know, put a hole in the ship. Here we have an elevator. It leads down to the abyss. The elevator being one of the ways of getting on and off the ship, of course. And of course, we have another hallway here with some uh, useless escape pods. They don't really work yet, but they will, I'm sure, eventually. And another turret. Some engineer only, access only panels. Must truly be engineer access only because we can't even open them. Of course, as we know, that leads towards the bridge in the front, and the other way is towards the cargo bay. Here we have the captain's quarters. That's the seat. That room there, I think, opens up. I never bother to go in there. Got a little bench chair, the corner couch type deal. Elevator going up to the upper deck. Here we have engineering. Uh, pretty much useless room right now. They used to have a function, but uh, not really anymore, other than shutting the entire ship down. <laughs> Here we have the crew quarters. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds in it. A little overkill considering that's like the absolute maximum number of people you can have on board and have having sitting in a seat. And of course the bathroom. The head. Why do I always find the bathroom? <laughs> Moving on. And we have uh another abyss of course it's supposed to be cargo now i was a little too nervous at the time when i was running through here so i didn't actually run through there but you can and it will load the ship don't worry you won't fall out <laughs> that right here is the middle turret it goes up to the top walk around the side here Say hello to engineering again. And now this time we can actually look at what we're doing when we walk into the engineering area, or not the engineering, but the cargo bay. <laughs> we just saw the elevator leading up top. Don't mind the big giant engines. Or power plants, rather. And the rear turret. The rear gun. Each of the guns have four rhinos starting out, but they can fit, of course, anything of the same size, size four. So each turret is like having your own personal uh, constellation <laughs> attached to an even bigger ship. <clears throat> That's the other elevator from the other side. Now as I idiotically run around the ship trying to figure out what I want to do next, I take a look at the elevator here and try to figure out how to operate this elevator, not realizing there's a button to the left on the pylon that I can't see. Well, I can see. I can clearly see it. Plain as day. It's white. It's that little white square that I'm not looking at. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Down goes that. We go up. Of 
and then that. Now I do know what's back there now because I've, it's been a while and I have actually revisited the spot of the ship before. It's basically just a way of getting it. You're kind of like the overseer of cargo up here. <laughs> <coughs> Again, it's kind of like engineering. There isn't really anything you can do other than shut the ship down from up here. So again, don't do it. You'll piss off the captain. <laughs> now, while I was up here, I could uh, I could hear the door opening and closing over and over again. And it was kind of freaking me out a little bit, and I was definitely not willing to walk through that all the way. I've played this game too much, and now you don't step into the, the abyss. The abyss kills you. Or you do step into it because it's funny. <laughs> I can't really remember if there's anything else. I don't really think there's anything else to go over. Other than the bridge. So we're going to go ahead and head down. Say hi to Mr. V. Once I figure out how to do so. This, of course, it was the first time I've ever been on the ship. I didn't realize that this was going to lead me out into outer space. And so I did this and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, that was the wrong way. <laughs> so turn around and hit the button, idiot. There we go. And don't worry, that person that we were watching the perspective of, that is me. I'm calling myself an idiot. <laughs> now we go down here there is the elevator and when the elevator is not working or you just don't feel like using it there's a ladder right there now these doors it's a good idea to just walk right up on them because they don't always open right away <laughs> He left the pilot seat open for me in case I wanted to fly it around and I, I, I should have went ahead and hopped in and undocked, but I didn't and we ended up getting the ship called back anyway, but it, it's alright. <laughs> this is a very expensive ship to operate. Um, it's more lucrative if you can do things on your own with it, but it's not really a ship that you can really use on your, on your own, at least not for combat. But if you got fully loaded, full of people, there's a good chance that you're going to end up pretty much breaking even, if not losing money, as you operate this thing. Because you only make like five or six grand per job, splitting it with everyone. But here we are at the docking port. Back again. Be very careful with this docking port. Always get a running start when going in and out of here. Even when you have a running start, <laughs> you end up getting jacked up. Uh, it's very easy to get caught in the wall or the floor. Just remember that. Here's some combat. There's a missile. I'm gonna shoot it for you. All right, never mind. I missed. Contact. I think I shot that one. <laughs> Target down. Yeah, I didn't even know he was there. It's a massacre. Coming around to your end tank. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed that. That was the Aegis Dynamics Hammerhead half-ass review. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. Maybe hit that bell if you want. I don't know. Do whatever. It's your, it's your life. You do what you want with it. But, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for more. Peace.